All right, Jake, in this video, we're going to take a look at what you do well as a hitter, and this video is going to serve as a foundation for videos to come. Um, I believe that you got to build with your strengths in order to get better as a hitter. And so we're going to compare you to Albert Pujols because both of you guys are very similar in that you have a very small stride. You'll see here with Albert Pujols, all he's going to do is pick up his heel right there and a small step forward to get ready to swing. And you'll see the same thing here with you. You're just going to pick up this heel, set it down, get ready to swing. And so that's the reason why I picked Pujols. And I want to begin by talking about what you do well as a hitter. All right. The first thing you do well is you create a very nice foundation with your feet. You can see here with Albert Pujols on the left-hand side that he's got those feet spread out by the time he's ready to swing. In other words, he starts wide and he finishes wide before he swings. And so he's got great bend in his knees and he's ready to go and drive with those legs. And if we take a look at you, you start wide like Albert Pujols and when your foot gets down, you finish wide before you swing. So both of you guys have a great foundation. Now the second thing that I like is that you're able to get your bat working up the plane of the pitch early and you keep your bat working up the plane of the pitch. So you can see here that I got a red line for both you and Albert Pujols. This red line is the pitch path. All right. If we take a look at Pujols first, just slide this over a little bit. You're going to see as the pitch comes in, right there's the ball. You can see that the barrel of the bat for Pujols is already working up the plane of the pitch. And as he continues, the barrel of the bat continues to work up the plane of the pitch into contact. He's got the sweet spot on the plane of the pitch. And then he works up it even after he makes contact and gets nice and extended. And this is important because he has multiple points of contact. In other words, he can be a little bit late or a little bit early and still make contact with the ball. Now, if we look on the left-hand side with you, you can see the path of the pitch is right here. Slide this over. Take you a little bit forward. You see the ball comes into the screen right here. And right here, you get the barrel of the bat working up the plane of the pitch. So the bat's working on the plane of the pitch early. It stays on the plane of the pitch right there. It continues on the plane of the pitch right here. And then it works up and gets nice and extended after the point of contact. So, Jake, you really have a nice bat path. And that's a huge thing to have as a young hitter. So two great things you're doing, a good foundation, a good bat path. In the next video, we're going to talk about how you can build off these strengths to make yourself a more powerful hitter.